Hey, John here. While well, recording an epic uh, video on how to lay out this board, I noticed something that I was doing that I didn't yet really explain with any real detail. And that is when I put the uh, logo on here. This is a logo that's not in the library. So I'm going to delete it and redo it and show you how to make this happen. So it's locked right now, so I can't delete it because I placed it directly from the board editor and you know the problem with that is so if you do that and you import a netlist or update and you say delete all the unused footprints it then goes away so I just deleted it and let me show you how to do this so if you're in the board editor and you want to put you know like I like I did the open source hardware logo on your board but you don't have enough room for any of them that are in the library right now so I guess OSHW right now I wanted to put it on the silk screen and this is the uh uh, thing that doesn't quite update itself perfectly in this release. So bear with me here. Uh, I want to put it on the silk screen layer and I want it as small as possible. So these are the dimensions of the of this symbol. So here's one that's um, 6.7 by 6. So if I put that on here, you can see it's a little big and hefty. All right. So I'm like, well, that's a bummer. I can't put that one on there. I can't fit it anyway. I could draw my uh, my own maybe, or you know export it and open it in an editor and redo it or something like that. That's an option. Let me see what's going on here. If we grab this one, this is uh it's bigger, but it has text under it like that. You know, uh, here's one that's even smaller, but it has a lot of text underneath it down here. So if I put this one on the board. Maybe I could get that to fit. Well, oddly enough, this is almost the same size as the other one. But the gear wheel, you can see, actually would fit. So if I really just said, you know, I want one of these that doesn't have the writing on her hair, but I want it this big. I poked around in the library. I didn't see any. Maybe they're in there. I don't know. But I couldn't find them. So what I did is this. If you place a footprint in the board editor and you hit control E just like when you open up the uh, symbol editor from the schematic editor you can edit this thing but unlike the symbol editor and the schematic what this allows you to do is to edit this footprint that is actually on the board without necessarily saving it back into the library so I can come in here and go like this and grab this text down here and hit delete okay now, if I hit Control S, what I've done is I've saved it in the board version of this symbol, or the, the footprint, rather, not in the library. So I can now move this thing around and do whatever I want with it. And I haven't broken the one that's actually in the library. So I want to edit this, of course, and lock it because... I don't want to accidentally delete it next time I import anything. So that's just might be a handy uh, tidbit. I don't know how often I'd use it other than this case right here. I'm not sure it would be all that common, but it's great to know that if you want to, you can edit something while it's on the board without screwing up the main libraries that you get with Geekcat. So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. See you later.